Hey there, you sexy beast. This is Ariel DeVita with Be More Than Fit Personal Training, bringing you your weekly health and fitness life hack. One of my all-time favorite ways to start a new habit is to create a habit trifecta. Three small things I can do in a specific order to ensure that all of the things happen. For example, having breakfast, setting out what we'll need for dinner, and then grabbing my coffee. Or exercising, having a post exercise shake, and then hitting the shower. Or <laughs> coming home from work, setting out what we need for chores, whether it's a list or something to kind of organize the evening for your kiddos, and then sitting down to plan for the next day. You just pick three things and make sure that one of those things is an anchor habit, which is something you'll do every single day. And in no time, you'll be able to create those new healthy routines that you desire. For more tips or to speak with a trainer, contact us through our website at www.bemorethanfit.com or on our Facebook page, BMTF Studio. This is Ariel reminding you that you deserve the best quality of life available and it's yours for the taking. All right, everybody, welcome to this week's episode of the Melissa Hillary Show. I am here with the beautiful Max Jones, and we connected online. It's one of those things that I absolutely love. A girlfriend of mine said this about a year ago, that, you know, we have to get good as adults, realizing that this is the playground, right? Like, we're out there, we're on the internet, we meet people virtually, out in the world. In this last year, obviously, that's not happening as much. So when we see people or we're attracted to people because of their energy, we need to remember how we used to behave when we were kids, right? We would just go right ahead and introduce ourselves and let them know we want to connect. And so I met up with Max and I see all the amazing work that she's doing in the world. She's down outside of Philadelphia. Um, and I just wanted to bring her on this podcast because for those of you who have been listening and watching for the last couple of years, you know that I love to celebrate people who are really just living out their passion, their purpose, bringing so much positivity to the world, but also who are values driven. Um, and I could see that here. So Max, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me and thank you for being so patient. Oh my and gosh, move it. So yeah, that is thank life, right? We, we, we have to constantly negotiate the um, sliding tile puzzle of our days of our lives, right? So, hey, all that matters is we made it happen, we're here. Yeah, it feels like a soap opera, these are the days of our lives or something like that. I know, I know. So tell us a little bit about what it is you do, Max, and how you got into your work, because um, I just, I, I see and I hear your presence in your voice um, so powerfully. So I would love to share that with our viewers. So let's start here. I am right now, currently, I am a life coach, talk therapist, and a master hypnotherapist. So that's what I do. That is Max Anjanetta Jones. And I have um, a show called The Intuitive Entrepreneur because I was born psychic. So I'm also psychic. And I have a magazine called Life Coaching Today. So with the magazine, we interview um, Jack Canfield um, and people of, you know, the trendsetters or the influencers of the world. And our goal basically is to teach people how to have a better life, mm. you know, whatever it is to improve on it. And I find that sometimes we say we were busy, we were working, but those are just excuses that we're taught by other people and we're not actually squeezing the orange of our life to its fullest. So we're not getting every inch out of our life. Our life is probably consisting of social media, work, and TV. So we don't get a chance to hack our lives, to find better ways to eat, to hang out with our friends, to have discussions, 
to go for walks, to exercise, just to do all these things that are somewhere out in the distant world. Mm. So life coaching today in Max's job is to sort of shake you up to say, hey, this can happen. And Mm -hmm. even on my personal page, that is the goal. The goal is to make people think of what you can do to give your life that extra zing. And that's what I love. I love adding extra. And I think the fact that I'm psychic or intuitive helps a little bit more. It just gives you that that extra thing. And that's how I roll. I love it. And we have clearly um, connected for a reason because um, I know you don't know much about my story, but um, I have, I have been in the industry of network marketing for the last 14 years, but I, I had a 10 year career in finance. And when I got to the end of those 10 years, Max, that was literally what was going through my body, like coursing through my veins was like, okay, first of all, my health, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, all of it was just shot because I was not getting that extra zing, right? Like I was not, I was not really, um, this is how I love to talk about it. I was running the length of my life. I was not living out the width and the depth of it. Right. And, and so it was a great opportunity to pause because I had been building this side business that now, you know, competed with my full-time pay. Great. Let release those hours, focus on my health, focus on, on my well-being, focus on pouring into myself so that I could just naturally pour into others um, and really begin to like live out the width and depth. And that's why I love talking about things like values-driven businesses and values-driven living, because um, when, when we can really get into that space, that's when we're truly like squeezing the orange, as you say. And, and, and it takes away the old belief system somewhere and and not that it's a bad thing it's not bad to work a nine to five that's not bad right but we were drilled to believe that's all we have so only so if you go yeah if you go to school for let's say you're a dental hygienist and you decide one day I don't want to do this anymore and you go to your family and your friends are like well what else can you do you're not programmed so and, and you know I like sitting down with people saying this is what you decided to do. You chose this. But what are you passionate about? Mm-hmm. Because, and not to quote the Bible, but the Bible does say that your gift, whatever gift you have, will put you in front of important men, which means men and women. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone's important. But whatever you are great at or whatever you're passionate about, someone needs you yes. right now. Yes. Someone needs you. Yeah. So you're not just a dental hygienist, you're whatever your passion is, because yeah. that is where we are. Mm-hmm. And we don't understand that. If everyone went after their passion, you wouldn't have so much sickness and harm in the world with people, I hate my job, this makes me mad, get out of the way, you're in my way, move, <laughs> I don't want your car there, I don't want to wear a mask. Because if you were happy, you wouldn't behave like a child. Children yeah. only have temper tantrums when they don't get their way. Right. They fall out on the floor and they behave badly. And they don't care that they need rules and regulations. They just want their own way. As adults, we do the same thing. Yeah. It's because we're not happy. Yeah. But if you follow your heart, you will be happy, healthy, and safe. Yeah. And oh, so true. That's actually how this podcast was born was, um, you know, all of the doom and gloom out in the world, like you could turn on the media all the time and see all the awful things that were going on. But you know, there's so much beautiful stuff going on in this world. And we're Mm going to get whatever it is we choose to focus on, right? And if you're living that life, Mm -hmm. where you're constantly angry and mad and frustrated, you're going to find that. Right? And so I wanted to get out more of this. And people and things and everything. And sometimes, so there, you know, in life, sometimes you do get hit by a tsunami. You will get hit by a tsunami at some point. And you get hit by a tsunami because so many people have come to change you or to help you mm-hmm. and you have refused to change. So at some point, tsunami is gonna come and wipe you out. Yes. And it's not the end yes. of you, it's 
says, stop, enough. You know, as a parent, you know, as a parent, you just want to be like, enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need a time out. Yes. And life will give you a time out, a.k.a. a tsunami. Especially if you're spiritual like me, and you're talking to God in your head, and he's like, no, don't do that. And you're like, but why? <laughs> you know, just sit you right on down and restart. And that's what happens to people, even with our health. Sometimes we have to be hit with a tsunami to say, you need to exercise or right. stop eating that. Because so many other people have told you before, and you want to continue on that path. Or you get hit with a tsunami because I have told you in your dreams and your prayers that this person isn't the person for you. But that's what you want because you're listening to your friends or you get hit with a tsunami where it's this job is going to kill you. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then they got to fire you because you don't get it that you should have left a long time ago. Right. And as soon as you leave, stuff comes in that is for you. And that's what I mean when you're hit with a tsunami. Sometimes God has to knock you out and then wake you up and say, okay. This is what you need to do. And we're so afraid because, and not that our friends mean to do this, but our friends give us this fear based on their fear. Yeah. Projecting. So I want to make, you know, you can say, I want to make $300,000 this year. Ugh, don't get greedy. How are you going to do that? Which is not the correct response. It should be, well, if there's anything I can do to support you, you let me know, mm -hmm. you know? But if you want your hopes and your dreams and your desires to be killed, tell somebody close to you what you want to do. They will be like, eh, eh. and not that they mean it. Right. We're not taught to look at another person's dream and say, if you can dream, I can dream. Mm -hmm. I'll help you with your dream and you'll help me with my dream. Yeah. And sometimes we want to do stuff. We just can't show up it doesn't matter how many times you don't show up but it means that you need to show up even if the everything around you is falling down please show up <laughs> yeah yeah and the world you know? is craving that right the world is craving that level of authenticity we're all gonna fall down I love talking about the tsunami max like that's such a beautiful image to think about I lived out in California for a while and I remember I used to like go to bed at night. I lived a block from the ocean and I would fear tsunamis, right? Like I would fear them. And then I realized it was just a metaphor for my life, mm -hmm. right? That, that, I, that I was afraid of those tsunamis. But if we like, you know, we start to learn how to surf, we keep our surfboard handy, you know, like we get out all our, all our tools, like we could be prepared for that. And we can know that, yeah, we're going to get knocked down, but, but all of it is a gift. Like I have a great mentor who said, um, last year we were given a lot of gifts, but many of them were wrapped in sandpaper. Right. And it's true. Need sandpaper. Mm -hmm. to make it smooth. Right. I mean, if you look at it, when, when lightning hits sand, it makes beautiful crystal glass. Mm -hmm. But again, our mindset in, you know, again, nothing against parents, nothing against your friends, but we pray to God all the time. I don't care what religion you are, you're praying to some type of God. Buddha, blah, 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 blah. And the moment something happens, instead of praying to God, you go to your friends. What? Okay. Go to the person you pray to and say, is this right? Is this appropriate? It happens so much to people. I have a, um, a friend who was just totally wiped out um in her relationship and she doesn't care if I share and, and it's because you're doing something you shouldn't be doing okay you're in a relationship that's not sanctified that's just wrong and she lost everything and I said well you can rebuild find someone who is single and she said but I wanted you wanted something that's not yours mm -hmm. what yeah. do you want focus on what you want and if it brings balance to your life, then you will be granted that thing. But that's the thing. We have forgotten to dream for ourselves. I want what you have, what she has. You know, what do you want for yourself? What do you personally want? Not what Betty has or not, oh, this person 
got their shot before me and they just moved to this country. Who cares? Right. Right. Okay. Who cares? Look at you. What do you want? What do you, what do you experience the most Max with, with the, with the clients that you work with? Like, what is the kind of like common, um, you know, challenge or angst, if you will, that people show up with and want coaching for? I work with people. So it's a little different for me. Um, where I, um, before I took my coaching classes with, um, Certified Life Coaching Institute and Tony Robbins and the Sedona School of Metaphysics. In our culture, you have to sit with a shaman for at least three years, okay? And you go through vision quest and all these other things where you, you're outside becoming one with the universe. So my shaman said, what do you want to do? I said, I want to work with people and relationships. She said, define that. So I work with people with the relationship with themselves, the relationship with spirit, and then the relationship with the world, which mm -hmm. is your job, your family, your significant other, and so on and so on. However, if the relationship with yourself and the relationship with spirit are out of balance, all the other thing in the third house is going to be crazy. It's just right. going to be <laughs> insane. Right. Okay. So my clients, even when they come to me about starting a business, they're working with themselves and spirit. If you come to me about your relationship, same thing. You're working with yourself and spirit because a lot of things in the metote, a lot of things in the mind, it's not true. Mm -hmm. you know, it's perception. So a lot of people in the world live in perception and not reality. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I have to take this journey of slowly pulling them to reality. So they're going to start with dealing with themselves to work on all the things in the third tier, the job, people, you know, taking things personally. Oh, this person's against me. So it's dealing with self. It's the biggest thing. And the first two things are the same because in the Bible, it says that ye are gods, but we know not that we are a reflection of God. Whatever God you worship, because no matter what book, be it the Bible, the Quran, or further back, they all say the same thing. Mm -hmm. You have to look inward. We're so busy looking outward. I want a boyfriend that's blah, blah, blah. I'm looking outward. I want a job that's blah, blah, blah. I'm looking outwards. I want my kids to be this. Well, did you ask your kids if they wanted to be that? <laughs> <laughs> right looking somewhere else we and that's a, a, you know we have problems with our children and work and partners because I want you to be what I want you to be Melissa I just want you to sit there and if I say point I want you to pick your hand up and point I want you to do whatever makes my life easy no because right. you have your hopes and dreams right I need to go within and work on me the intimacy with myself so that you can see into me and I can see into you. Mm -hmm. And while you're looking into me, if I'm not with you what you want and you know the true me, then you can go. Right. I don't want to hold on to something that isn't supposed to be. And we just, we do. We don't want to look inside. Yeah. And look inside is very beautiful. A lot of people are afraid to look inside. Right. Yeah. But your insides show up mm -hmm. in your dreams. The people that are around you, everything on the outside, if it's yucky, is in there. Right. You know, you ever see somebody be like, I don't like her. Well, you don't like her because something about that person reminds you of something you need to fix. Right. Okay. And be careful with that. Whatever you don't like, your kids are going to bring it home. <laughs> okay. That's how I don't like green people. My kids will bring home green people. That works. Yeah. So love everybody, including yourself. So my biggest thing is working with self. Mm -hmm. You know, people, we don't know who we are. It's like, um, I believe I'm a size 10. So, but in actuality, I'm not, I'm something else. Mm -hmm. But in my mind, I believe this because I haven't physically um, 
investigated it, looked into it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, most of the time people are not who they believe they are or who they show you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I, it's, I, I love this conversation. I, and I feel like this past year, you know, I did a lot of, I did a lot of work in um, yoga teacher training. And this is after, you know, I've been into personal development since Tony Robbins was putting stuff on cassette tapes, right? <laughs> um, back in the days, he was like, back yeah, he was rough back in the day. Yeah. Um, but yoga is definitely that space where, like, you have no option but to really look at yourself, right? Because it's that yoking, the, the, the union of mind, body, spirit. And, you know, if you're doing something right, you're probably going to cry on your mat. You're probably going to have those moments where like you hit the brick wall. Um, and I, and I did a lot of that last year and, and it's, it's interesting to hear you talk about this because I feel like I watched a lot of colleagues and peers and friends do the same thing. Right. It was like this, this pause in the world to really go like, damn, <laughs> but in the beginning in the beginning of the pause so I started my pause before you guys did because my guides and guardians made me pause the second week of February so I was home from the second week of February all the way up until you know the weather broke and we could go out so I was pausing ahead of time and I don't even think I questioned it because I'm, I'm at this point now where where my guides and guardians say pause you pause mm -hmm. okay because a tsunami is surely to get you right. and i i believe that in the beginning of the pause a lot of people try to avoid themselves and reality because a lot of people were drinking drinking oh, yeah heavily <laughs> yeah and they were drinking to to avoid themselves yeah you know or to deal with their partners you ever talk to someone and they say Oh, I'm always busy. I'm working. If I had time off, I'd spend time at home with my family and my children. And now you're home with your family and your children and you want to escape. You're right. Right. And that's what happened in the beginning to a lot of people. We watched that happen. Yeah. yeah for and sure. it's like they, in Pennsylvania, they had to, um, they closed down the liquor stores because it was out of control. People were just drinking. Yeah, because yeah. as people, we just couldn't wrap our mind around the fact that we need to be in the house and that we need to stay safe or that we need to get to know the people in our home. And if you can't live with the people in your home, how are you going to coexist with the people outside? Right. Right. You know, and, and that was a big eye opener for people at the beginning of the break. Yeah. You know, the longest Easter break we've ever had. I know, <laughs> I know, true story. And it's it's interesting you say you you started that pause early. I did I did as well. Um, I had a mentor who was saying that 2020 was the year of trust and and like you know really to get out there and build relationships and that kind of thing. And it was interesting because in the fall of 2019, I pulled almost every in-person event that I had in first quarter off the calendar. It was like, there was just this deep knowing that yeah. something was coming and I couldn't put my finger on it, but I just trusted what I was feeling. So yeah, I listened to um, Leo, the Scorpion King was, who's an astrologist and, um, oh gosh, yes. and deep divers. Okay. And they both predicted that there was Leo, the Scorpio King, he predicted there was going to be a pandemic, you know, when, and my son is the astrologist. So when these planets and stuff come a certain way, so it was known um, in 2018, I think he said it, he said, be careful because at the beginning of the year, everything's going to go crazy. And it did. But again, as people, we want to go to high school, we want to go to college, but after that, we don't want to educate ourselves in anything spiritual unless we're in trouble. And we have to start paying more attention to the world and what's going on. So, yeah, you know, so it, even with now, with everything that's going on with the viruses and the vaccine, 
and people thinking it's the mark of the beast and all this other stuff. I have to say to people sometimes, I can't see you in person just yet. You know, let's do a video or something. And they say, oh, well, it's not the same. Now, remember, I'm the psychic. They're not. Right. But they need a need met. Mm-hmm. You know, and I say to them, if, if I'm the psychic and I'm telling you that it's not good, what does that say to you? Mm-hmm. There's something you're doing you need to slow down or you need to not do. But people, mm-mm. yeah, yeah. And that's what you're here for. Like that is your that is your gift for the world. Which, by the way, what is the best way for people to get a hold of you who are watching? Ah, if you Google me, I come up as Max and Janetta Jones. So you can Facebook me. Um, you can go to our lead website, Life Coaching Today. But Googling me would be fine. If you Google me with um, Max and Janetta Jones, I come up all over the place. And it's M A X X two X's. So even if you just put in Max on Facebook, it'll come up because people <laughs> people find me all the time. Yeah. It's just that um, lately we haven't been out in the world, but when we were out in the world, I'd be somewhere, and people would come up to me and say, "Hey, I think I'm your Facebook friend." <laughs> like, well, nice to meet you, Facebook friend. So it's M A X X Max and Janetta Jones. And it comes right up on Facebook or on Google so I can be found. So I'm always, you know, you ever go yourself and you go look at your reviews and you're like, who is that girl? Right. Yeah, I love it. Um, and I know the two groups that um, I connected with you in were the Life Coaching Today um, mm-hmm. group coach. and the Freedom Entrepreneurs United. That was another thing I wanted to ask you before we go. Which, by the way, for those of you who are who are listening, you know, those are a couple of groups to definitely go check out. But um, I want to I want to know what freedom means to you. I want to know what freedom means to you, because that's like a beautiful word. And I love hearing people's experience and embodiment of freedom. Well, for me, freedom, it doesn't mean that I'm plagued or bogged down by something. It just means that I have a choice. You know, every day, every minute, every hour is mine. And sometimes it it feels really weird. So um, that everything you do is on your schedule, on your, of your accord, that you're not giving just to be giving. You're giving because you want to, because you choose to, because you want to show up. So freedom for me, is the ability to operate under my own esteem, under my own accord, to help people to do whatever I want to do. Mm-hmm. And it seems, but sometimes it just seems bizarre. Like, um, and I'll, I'll Saturday. Saturday, I left the gym and I was thinking, you really don't have to do anything that you don't want to. You know, I didn't, I have no clients, but even if I did, it still would be my choice right. and I can help people do whatever I wanted to do. But the biggest thing was, you know, um, at my gym, we were having a debate between Godzilla and King Kong. So we rented a private theater to go out to see the, you know, the movie and take the kids. Love it's it. the ability to do what you need to do for you. Yeah. The ability to help people. And, you know, because when you are bogged down doing things that you don't like or getting attitude or something negative from someone else, it doesn't give you the free mind, the free will to help, to be, and to do. Right, right. So, and a lot of people look at, you know, um, people will say financial freedom. What is financial freedom? Right. You know, because we're never free of bills. Because no matter what you make, you're always going to ha- have a bill. So freedom for me, it's, it's not being imprisoned by anything. Mm. It's the ability to exercise free world, to be, to go, to say mm-hmm. how you want to live your life on your terms. Whether that's positive or negative for you at the time, I hope it's always positive. You know, anything negative, you got to go. But that's what it is for me. 
you know, and mostly entrepreneurs find that, you know, and what people don't think about is when you are an entrepreneur, okay, when you work for someone, they had to become entrepreneurs too. Walmart, same thing. It used to be a small store. Yeah. Now and, it. and people think, oh, I got to go to my job. Well, your job was a small entity and then it grew. Mm -hmm. It's like people don't, it, it doesn't ring here. Mm -hmm. If you don't like something and you're showing up, you're doing a disservice. To not only yourself to everyone else right so right. freedom is a choice yeah i love that i really do and and you're so you're so accurate on that you know idea that um you know it's it's, it's not about that like you know being bogged down by something it's about that ability to just kind of like move through life through your own life through the world with ease and grace and choice and flexibility and all the things. I love that. And I know that feeling you're talking about too, when you said you're walking out of the gym and you're like, look, I don't have anything I have to do. That's right. Right now. Right. That's a beautiful feeling. And when that becomes that everyday feeling it, it, and it's, in the beginning, I used to always say to myself, wait a minute, this seems weird. You know, <laughs> this is really weird, but it's an excellent feeling to be your own. Yeah. But I will say this, most of the time, 90% of the time, our worries and our stress come from other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it, it's from other people. What will they say? What will they think? But sometimes you, you have to let that go. Yeah. You know, you have yeah. to look at the mindset. And, and that's why we have to be in a place where we forgive ourselves and forgive others. Like, instantly because we just don't know where they are but we have to find ourselves to say okay i don't want to be there so let me shine a light so they don't have to be there right and in life we dim our light thinking that we're helping other people we're not right shine your light so other people can have a beautiful bright light yeah i Humble love it when you're lost one of the one of the songs that I love to get up and listen to is when um, I think it's Odetta. She reads Marianne Williamson's quote, right, about um, you know not being afraid of mm -hmm. our own lights, and then she goes into singing like this little light of mine. It's so beautiful. Yeah, that's one of my favorite songs. Yeah, I was singing well, it yesterday with my friend. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, and anytime I need to just shift the energy. You know, if my son and I are in the kitchen and like, you know, there's a little bit of friction or something, maybe he wants to do something and I've got to take care of something else in that moment. Um, you know, I'll put that song on and it just, it's an instant energy boost. It's just the energy, but yeah. your son is a leader. Mm -hmm. So that is why you two will bump heads because he is a true leader. And so some people would say, well, he's headstrong. He's not headstrong. You would get so far with him if you explained. He likes to be spoken to and explained to so he understands. Yes. And he's not a person you can just rush, right. shoo along. No, you have to have a conversation. And I understand as a mommy, sometimes we don't always have time right. to have conversation. However, that's never going to work. Yeah. You're always going to have friction with that kid if you can't explain it. As that kid gets older, you you have to prepare that I'm going to want you to be knowledgeable so you can tell me. You, mommy, I'm, you know, smart kid. So right. make some clear decisions, you know, um, if you can get him scholarships to schools, which you can, that would be best. Mm-hmm. And that would be less problematic for you, but you can, and you will get him scholarships for school because that kid is smart. Yeah. So think about it. Thank you. Thank you. You know, well, listen, smart on, there. on that topic of freedom, I want to thank you for taking the time and making the choice to be here with me today. I know we have to run, but 
Um, I hope that for the people who are watching and listening, you go out and you find Max on Facebook. You'll see her name on the screen. You can go find her on Facebook, Google her, connect with her, just see the beautiful work that she's putting on the world. Max, I just thank you for being a light in this world. And I look forward to at some point in the near future, being able to actually meet you in person because we're really not that far. I do too. I, do too. Yeah. I look forward. This was very nice. It was thank very you life soul and thank you for being able to wait for me you know oh my gosh thank you, thank you. always always any last words of wisdom you'd like to leave our viewers and listeners with i you know the, what i want to leave you with is remember to go with inside and seek out what is inside before mm -hmm. you start seeking it outside if you think about it outside is a bigger territory to cover inside is much smaller and all the answers are within i believe that <laughs> right. bless you all thank right you. thank you we'll talk thank to you very soon me you are a blessing thank you thank you max have a great have day a